bro. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I know what you're thinking. You're wondering what the heck am I gonna cook? Got a different recipe. I never tried it yet. I'm about to try it with you guys. I'm gonna let you know how it tastes. We're gonna make it together and see how hard it is. So, if you want to stick around and see what the heck I'm going to concoct tonight for dinner, just stay tuned. Kick. Hey, hey, hey. Protect me and everyone around me. making deep fried cauliflower okay I know I know we're on this no meat eating kick and it's like I want that crunchy feeling in my teeth and I want to taste like something like fried chicken right about now so I'm deciding to make that okay the no meat eating thing is going pretty good I, we have not eaten meat for a very long time we have eaten cheese um but Let's just get to the recipe. Deep fried cauliflower. We need a head of cauliflower. I have a full head. I cut it in half because I'm not going to make all of it right now. Because I really don't know how good it's going to like stay in the fridge. And Angie ate already. So I want her to be able to eat it. But she's going to taste it anyway. Uh, we need uh flour cornstarch baking powder half a teaspoon of salt one cup of flour hot sauce breadcrumbs and oil for frying i'm gonna i'm going to let you guys see this right here if you want to screenshot it for later that way we always have the recipe okay you got it okay. so right now i'm gonna take one cup of flour i think i'm just gonna eyeball it because I'm only doing half, so I'm only doing half, so I'm going to do half the batter. Alright, so, but when you do it, do it like, like the thing says. Okay, so cornstarch, half a cup of cornstarch. I'm not going to do a whole half, that's a lot though actually, what the heck? Let me do that. Um, one teaspoon of baking powder. I'm only going to do a pinch. Or two. Or three. Um, and then we need some hot sauce. I really don't want hot sauce in it. So, my seasoning is adobo and soy sauce. But, we're going to put a little bit of adobo in here. For that saltiness. Um, I guess we could do some hot sauce. Come on. We got Frank's Red Hot. I also got teriyaki. Um, so we need a tablespoon. So we're just going to do a tiny little bit. We need water until it becomes a batter because we're going to dip the cauliflower in here. Just like if we were like dipping some chicken and some egg, I guess, or buttermilk. And then we're gonna, I guess, oh, okay. So in a large bowl, put all this stuff in it, dip the cauliflower pieces into the batter, coat evenly, allow excess batter to drip off, roll the cauliflower pieces into, into the breadcrumbs until coated, repeat until all cauliflower pieces are coated, preheat the deep fryer, deep fry the pieces until they're golden brown, boom, season with salt. Okay. Now, it's supposed to taste really, really good. So I've heard. Also, I have some rice here, and I made, this is what I made for dinner. These are the smoked sausages, non-meat. Um, so this is what we're gonna eat. And then I got my peppers right there. And I have brown rice and quinoa that we never ate before. Um, and that is right here. 
I need to like fluff it up or something. I never ate brown rice and quinoa, okay? So it's the first for everything. So we're gonna take that off, let that sit right there. And all right. Don't mind. It's a mess. It got cauliflower all over the place. I do like that. So the way it showed to do the cauliflower, it was like this. So now I'm gonna gonna just cut right here, right here. I saw somebody um cook the cauliflower first, but I'm not doing that. That's not what this says, right? So here's the piece. I'm hoping it tastes like chicken nuggets. Can I just say the mixture is no joke? Okay. cooking and I didn't even try to clean up my kitchen all I did was like ooh I'm making this new recipe let me record it for my people and I just kind of pressed record and I didn't really clean up nothing for you guys forgive me you know I love you though right we don't need to be perfect right because this is just I'm just a real person cooking a real meal in a real kitchen um real life shit I got all the swing in me I got all the one two You can see, you will see I have a whole sink load of dishes. You probably saw it in the beginning. Yeah. Those need to be done after. So we're gonna stick this in here. I'll make it tomorrow or whenever I can. The only bad thing about you know fresh produce is you have to make it or else it's gonna go bad. Um and I don't really know if you could do it with frozen. I guess I could Google a recipe for frozen. But this was only like, a, I don't know, like two bucks. Look, this looks like a chicken wing. <laughs>
Okay, so as the rest are cooking, um, I'm just going to show you. This is Kilo's dinner. This is it. This is the brown rice and quinoa. The grilled. Babe! You want some um, peppers or no? Okay. Let me give him two of these. So this is his, his plate. They say the, the more colorful it is, the more healthy it is, the better it is for your body. And I'm going to put some ketchup on the side. And this is it. This is tonight's dinner. So, let me try one before we go because the rest are cooking. There's no reason, like, I'm not going to we're just gonna do this now. It got that crunchiness, just like you, you need it. For that taste of that chicken, you know? Really, I feel like the best part of the chicken is always the crunchy part. Right? The skin. That's how I feel. We always eat the skin off, right? Well, you get your fix. Wow! I mean, I guess mm, it's so hot. I guess if you're still eating meat, go ahead and have you some fried chicken, but you gotta outweigh the pros and the cons. You know what I'm saying? So in this case kilo really does not want to eat any kind of meat so this is what i'm doing to try to have our little fried whatever fix you know them it's fried it's not good because it's fried and i probably should have used canola oil but i didn't i don't have none so i'm using vegetable oil but you know do what you do. Do what you do and how you do it. If you can do it. If you can't do it, what you gonna do? But let me tell you, my son Lalo never ate so much vegetables in his life. And he's feeling better. So, let me try this. This is the... Bro. Hold on. These sausages, whoever told me to buy them, shout out to you, bro. This tastes like real sausage. Mmm. Mmm, good. You can taste the smoky flavor, the ap apple. There's real apple in here. Um, Potatoes. I can't eat soy, guys. I can't eat soy. It bothers my stomach. That's good. I will buy this again. Definitely will. Alright. Oh, so what I got in here is the sausage. Tomato. Onions. Peppers. And some of them have um, mushrooms. So, we're getting our protein somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Wish us luck, guys. I wish you luck if you're on this journey, too. And um, until the next video, I love you mucho. And I'll catch you on the flip side. Oh, bye. <laughs>